I'm standing on a red circle. What bad stuff could happen? Standing on a red circle. It's amazing. You can check. How's it going? Get a good picture. This is a good one. Do this one. You want this one? Cool, man. So I'm on the couch uh, with my girlfriend, and uh, she says, hey, would you be a good boyfriend and go get batteries? And at that moment, I was like, wow, that's all I have to do. <laughs> like, she just gave me the answer to all the questions. She's like, if you go get batteries, you're a great boyfriend. This was exciting and sad. Because I've been in so many other relationships before. It didn't work. And not once did I know that all I needed to do was go get batteries. So I sprang up. I had energy. I was excited. I had confidence. I knew that I was one purchase away from being a great boyfriend. I went to CVS kicked the door in. It was amazing. I was like, they're going to talk about this. I'm going to be on cereal boxes. Oprah, no question. All the cool stuff. Walked right up to the batteries. I just, I just grabbed them, just looked at them. Got you. And I noticed that all the batteries are next to all of these items that need batteries. So there's batteries who need items, and items that need batteries. And on the side of the box of a drill that I saw, it said batteries not included. And I was like, that's hysterical. That's one of the funniest things I've ever heard in my entire life. Batteries not included. How can I, as a comic, turn that into a joke? What vehicle would I put the batteries in to heighten the very funny sentence, batteries not included? And I was like, ah, oh, man, I need to use the proper words and the proper images because words and images are the same. They expire. Some stick around, but most images and most words expire. Some images that don't, like John Lennon, New York City, first person on the moon, those images, Muhammad Ali over Sonny Liston, yeah, those are gonna hang out. But just think, everyone in this room, at some point or another, in the past three or four years, took a photograph of yourself. You thought you looked pretty good. Maybe you had on like a blue windbreaker, something nice. Maybe you had on an ascot, I don't know, it's your outfit. Maybe you have good makeup, maybe your hair is perfect. And then you see that picture a few years later and you're like, what in the hell <laughs> was I doing in the, with the windbreaker? Because that picture is expired. And words are the same way. Like some words aren't gonna stick around, you know, the, nothing to fear but fear itself and I have a dream and cool stuff like that. Catchphrases disappear, like, have a cow, man. Gag me with a spoon. Cowabunga, expired. So I need to find the exact vehicle to take my brand new joke and I need to put it in it. So what vehicle would I use? And it's the millennial. I would use the millennial. Because millennials are tough. They're strong, they're brave. They do this a lot. Also known as the Michigan clap, by the way. <laughs> you guys usually do this around the third quarter of all Lions games. <laughs> yeah. The millennials, I feel sorry for, though. Because they don't have the ability to play the same games that I used to play when I was younger because they have to be cautious and conscious. Like now millennials on the playground would have to play games like Simon Suggests. 
Oh, yeah. Can you imagine explaining Simon Says to a millennial? All right, check it out. There's this old dude, and uh, he's going to tell you what to do. And if you don't do exactly what this guy you've never met before says, you're canceled. They would be emailing so many people. All right, what game could we play instead? Tag with consent. <laughs> you're it. No, you're not. I'm it. You're right. I'm sorry. <laughs> Duck. Duck identifies as goose. So I would need to use the vehicle of the millennial, but how? Some jokes I've told that were very funny at the time have expired. When I was on The Tonight Show, I did this joke, and it was, so you think if a Chinese kid gets a toy, he's like, oh my god, I totally remember making this. <laughs> exactly. Some of you are like, oh, because it's expired. <laughs> but shame on all of you. Shame on all of you, because when, I, when it happened, when I wrote the joke, I was at a toy store, I saw a package that said, made in China, and I thought, well, what? I wonder, I wonder if Chinese kids get toys, and what if this is a job this kid had after school, and it wasn't a sweatshop, just a regular shop, and he made it, and he went home, and his uncle's like, well, you know what? Jeff needs a toy. Bam. That's what I thought, but you guys were like, Boo. Here's another example. Don't you hate it when the Amber Alert is your vehicle description? <laughs> I do. Happened to me the other day. I was on I-75, and it was like silver, Honda. And I was like, damn it. <laughs> Have I been there the entire time? That's magnificent. All right, good stuff, everybody. All right, so I'm now going to put it all together for you. Here we go. Uh, if you could bring out my guitar for me, please, Charlie. This is my impression of a millennial comedian. I feel sorry for batteries who are not included. That took a lot of work. Shout out to the fourth responders. <laughs> Who would have been there on time but traffic? Why isn't military sex called honorable discharge? All right, maybe that one expired. <laughs> By the way, uh, I, never, I never did get her batteries. Uh, I forgot, but um, I did get a TED Talk, so it's kind of cool. Uh, all right, I'm going to do two quick more ones, and then I'm going to go. By the way, I love when people are like, I got to go. We have nowhere to go. There's like 10 of us standing backstage. We're just hanging out. It's pretty dope. This song, this song is for anybody who has ever posted photographs of themselves at the gym. <laughs> no one in the world gives a fuck about your workout.
good. All right, so now I'm going to give you guys an opportunity to hear a bunch of new jokes uh, in, a, in, a, in a format that I like to call Too Soon. It's a sing-along. Um, too Soon. It's a very catchy chorus. I'll give you the chorus that you can sing along with, and that'd be ideal. Uh, but to explain to you, some of the jokes are really too soon, where you're going to be like, damn, Gina. Like, it's going to be... Now, they sound worse than they are. <laughs> so if you think about it, I can defend each and every one of these jokes. But initially, your trigger reaction is going to be like. <laughs> and I'm prepared, because there is a catchy chorus. <laughs> it's just cool to see one of me not moving and one of me moving. By the way, this shirt that I have that says Detroit thinks you suck, um, I had them made because I tour a lot and a bunch of people are like, where are you from? And I'm like, Detroit. And they're like, Detroit sucks. I'm like, Detroit thinks you suck. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, here we go, everybody. Too soon, way too soon. Please don't joke about it. It's way too soon. Now, as a comic, I see the same news you see, the same tragedy, the same catastrophe, the same horrible stuff. But my job is to try to make light of it. But once I try to make light of it, someone gets worked up. They get upset and they think, too soon, way too soon. Please don't joke about it. It's way too soon. So again, here comes a whole bunch of jokes that are way too soon. We're going to start small, and then it's going to get to the point where you're like, you should go. <laughs> All right, let's practice the course one more time, everybody. Here we go. Too soon. OK, JFK, super handsome, horrible headshot. It was 53 years ago. Do you think it's pretty safe to say that Rosa Parks was undefeated at musical chairs? Too soon. Way too soon. Please don't joke. R. Kelly's music really does sound better when it's streaming. People are saying that Renee Zellweger doesn't look at all like Judy Garland in the new Judy Garland biopic. Um, Renee Zellweger doesn't even look like Renee Zellweger. Oh, that's terrible. Too soon. Way too soon. Please don't joke about it. When I heard Donald Trump abruptly pulled out of Syria, I thought, oh no, not another porn star. That wasn't political at all. Go ahead, try to make it political. All right, this one's gonna be tough. I was dating this girl and she's like, I want you to treat me more like a princess. So I said, okay, no problem, I get you. So I called a bunch of my friends up. They came over to my house, piled in the back of my car. We got some cameras. We chased her around until she crashed into a tunnel in France. <laughs> I love that you're shocked that I'm doing exactly what I told you I was going to do. All right, I'll do one safe one and then one last one and we'll get out of here. Here's a safe one. I just ate. Should I go swimming? Do you get it? Because it's too soon, because I'll cramp up. It's safe. It's, you can't get mad because it's, it's cramp. It's safety. Can't be upset. It's safety. Last one, everybody. I'm scared to do this one because there's kids here. Yeah. 
Let's do it anyway. Luke Perry died recently. It was, it was very sad. He was a stroke victim. Michael Jackson's accusers were also stroke victims. It's amazing how the exact same words can mean two totally different things. You have no idea how excited I am that everyone just got quiet. <laughs> That's the best thing ever. I just won. All right, last one, everybody. Please sing, and then I will leave. This has been an amazing experience. It's so, it's so great to come home and do this, and I had so much fun. Thank you for being here. Last one. Last one. Premature ejaculation. Come on! <laughs> Loud! Three, two, one, and... Two, two, louder! Please don't choke about... Detroit.